Ryan Reynolds, when he puts money into something, it leads to success. I don't know if this one will. I'll tell you why, because joining us, it is the Wrexham defender. And of course, very much part of his weapon, the long throw. Ben Tozer. Ben, good morning. How are you? Good morning, Ben. Morning, morning Natalie. Morning, Gabby. How are you? Yeah, we're very, very well. Um, I- I'm mentioning there about Ryan Reynolds and the investments that he makes. They tend to pay off. But as I said, those potential scarves might not work in your favour because actually what the EFL have said, you're not allowed to use towels and you're not allowed to use anything to dry ta- uh, to dry these balls off, Why including don't... items obtained from spectators to dry footballs during matches. So, you know, it's a case of a multi-ball system. That's what they're bringing in. So I guess they're relying on the, the ball boys and girls to ensure that, I don't know, the ball is as dry as it can be. I don't know how they're going to work it, but for some reason they're doing it. Do you understand why they've banned it, Ben? Yeah, I mean, it's going to make the game faster, isn't it? The ball's available quicker. And um, I suppose throwing's are seen as anti-football, so or long throwing, should I say, are seen as anti-football. So for me, there's no issue. You know, people in the past have worn gloves, sewn towels into their shirts like Rory Delap did years ago. Um I'm sure there'd be ways around it. And I've still got my shirt that I can dry dry the ball with anyway unless unless they start booking me for that. Surely your shirt will have a lot of sweat on though from working hard in the game. <laughs> Have you seen me play, Gavin? <laughs> oh, but do you really think it's anti-football being having like a, a long throw as a, as a specialist sort of technique uh, as such? Because I think a lot of teams are now adding. You know, you even see long throw specialists as coaches being brought in by side. So surely it's something we should be embracing rather than a, a sort of seeing as a negative. Yeah, I, I just remember we a couple of years back played against Man City and we we scored from the the throw in and um, Pep was a bit unhappy with the the long throw and then they played in the Champions League final later that season and then Carl Walker was taking long throws so <laughs> you know it's kind of one of them things where it, it's if it suits you then then it's fine to use it if not then everyone sees it as anti-football mm. we used, when we played against Stoke and Rory Dillap used to throw him yeah. honestly we used to dread going to Stoke had Ricardo Fuller Cameron Jones Shawcross would come up, and it was it, it was big for Stoke, wasn't it? They'd score so many yeah. of them. So I don't see a problem with it as long as it's a quick. You know, you you, you use a towel and you you're doing it quickly, right. not taking yeah. fifteen twenty seconds to yeah, because we want the ball and play ball for as down, long as course. possible. But I don't see a problem with it. Yeah, it, it, might, it might be an advantage for us at home because some teams were coming to our place last year and and just using the towel for like defensive throw-ins and you know just to kind of waste time. So. For us, it's it's just one of them things. You just you just get on with it, and um, yeah, there's ways around it. Like I said, just use your shirt and um, maybe put a towel inside your yeah. shirt or, or something like mm, that. Mm. I want to ask you about pre-season. How's it going? Um, I don't miss it one bit. Um, <laughs> how's the running? Are you all prepared for the season? Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's uh, it's it's very different to to what 15 years ago, 16 years ago, my first pre-season where that was literally just run, run, run. You know, you're up against the clock and <laughs> yesterday was our first real pre-season day where it was running football, running football, running football and it actually rained so it was quite nice and it didn't feel so bad but yeah, it's tough. It's really tough and it's just all different different movements to, to like I said, 15, 16 years ago. And in terms of looking ahead to the, to the new season, how are you all feeling about it? Yeah, excited. Pre-season's, you know, it's something to really look forward to this year. We're going to America for 13 days. We've got some great fixtures out there. Um, Not yeah, Vegas, so- I hope. <laughs> you never <laughs> know they've already done that. Gonna- <laughs> they might fly past it, I don't know. <laughs> Um, do you know what I want to ask you? You know, sometimes, uh, and I'm I'm not going to talk about Phil Parkinson here. I'm going to talk about Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney. Um, there's always a, a golden boy in a team. It feels as though Paul Mullen is that with these two in particular. They're always meeting up, it seems. We're always seeing photos on social media of them. Do you, uh, do you miss out on all of this, Ben? Or are you involved in some way and we're just not seeing you in pictures? No, I'm not bothered. It's, it's, <laughs> it's you know... Paul is the main man at the club. He's our goal scorer. He's the one who takes all the headlines and um, they're doing their absolute best to, to promote people and, and, and do things like that. So, you know, fair play. It's 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 working well for both of them. Clearly, it's helping Paul because he's, he's not, you know, changing his performances mm-hmm. and, and he's carrying on producing. So, it's one of them things, really. It's uh, If he's getting a bit of preferential treatment, then, then fair play. <laughs> I wanted to ask you quickly about the goals for this season for um, you as a club. Is it to fight for promotion? Is it to avoid relegation? 
you know, because you, you want to keep moving up the um, leagues, don't you? I think you know we're as ambitious as we will ever be. We we want to we want to go again this year. That's that's our absolute aim. So, you know, I don't see any harm in putting the pressure on ourselves. We had the pressure last season, the pressure the season before. That's not something that's new to us. So um, we've got a great a great group of lads, a great squad, and I'm sure the gaffer will add to that. But yeah. Definitely, promotion is the, is the aim. Well, we have seen a lot of teams that come up from the National League really do, it's, it, whether it's that momentum that carries them through into the season, into League Two, but they do, some of them do find having, go, let me start that again, some of them do have back-to-back promotions or at least are right up there. Um, so there's no reason, of course, why Wrexham can't do that as well. Well, look at Stockport last year. If they didn't yeah. have a bad start, they would have gone up automatically. But going back to that, I mean, I think this will be the toughest League Two I've ever seen. Uh, there's a lot of a lot of competition. There's a lot of really good teams. A lot of teams really going for it this year. So it won't be easy. It's never easy, but it's definitely something that we're aiming for. Brilliant. So, what is a question for you? What's better, playing for Wrexham and meeting all these Hollywood stars, or going to Saudi Arabia, oh. as some of these players are doing now, and getting the big books? I just think. Listen, the money is the money, of course, in Saudi Arabia. It's, 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 that's something that sets them and their families up for life. You yeah. can't really begrudge them. Yeah. Um, but playing for this club is so exciting at the moment. You know, it's, it's really on the up. The stadium sells out every week. We're, we've won a trophy last year. We're hoping to emulate that again this season. Like I said, it's on the up. All the noise around the club, whether you like it or you don't like it, it's, it's exciting. It's positive. So it's a great place to be. And, and you know, I'm thankful I'm here.